Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Applegate, and today I'm going to be rescuing a painting. I painted this painting a couple years ago, and I thought it was complete, and then I just have never been happy with it. So today, I'm going to paint over this really dry oil painting. First of all, I want to get rid of that brown sky and the gray fog bank. It's just too depressing a color. So I'm mixing some phthalo blue and white in two different values and applying it right over the sky and that distant bank of fog. Stepping back, you can see already it's improved the painting. Now I'm just adding a little bit of light above the fog bank, which will help it stand out. It also gives some warmth to that cold sky. Going into the splashing wave, I want to eliminate the browns. So with a mixture of phthalo blue and white and a little bit of permanent rose, I'm going right over the splashing wave. Already it's brightening everything up, and I know I'm in the right direction. This is a deeper mixture of phthalo blue and white. You can see you can apply it very liberally right over the paint that's already there. Work it right into your sky while the sky is wet, getting rid of your hard edge. Same thing with the splash that goes over the water in the background. Now I'm coming in with a glow color. This is cadmium yellow, white, and permanent rose. It gives a transparency to the waves. I want to darken that foreground I also want to change the color of the blue in the background. This is thalo blue with just a touch of white in it and a little bit of raw sienna. Bring the same color down into the foreground. Now I'm just working all over the rocks. Look at the left-hand side of that painting. See the difference that that deeper blue brings to the painting? It pushes the foam forward and the horizon back. Repeat it on the right. I'm going right over those white caps. This is really a glaze. I'm just changing the color. And those white caps are still going to show through. We'll step back so you can see the full effect of the change of the colors. Now we're going to get into that splashing surf coming off the rocks in the foreground. This is a lot of fun. You're just designing with your paint. This is titanium white, cadmium yellow, little bit of raw sienna. Then let's bring some of our foam down over the rocks. Smooth out your edges. I like the motion that's happening here, but I want to get into this area around the seagulls and also right in that crevice, give it a little more life. I'm going to come back in with a mixture of the phthalo blue with a little bit of permanent rose and white. Then working with the same mixture,
create the mist right up over the rocks and into the sky. Right out into the water. Now I'm going to start putting back my highlights. Just cleaning up my edges. And let's put a few little dashes of light into the waves that are crashing behind the rocks. This gives a sense of distance. Doesn't take much. Same thing on the left side. Just a little detail that brings so much interest. Now we're going to get into the really tricky but fun part of creating this splashing wave. This is probably the thickest paint you've used so far on this painting. It's cadmium yellow, titanium white, and just a touch of raw sienna. I'm touching the mist and this crashing wave wherever the sunlight is directly hitting it with this great mixture and then carefully blending in the edges. Then back into that luminous area right where it touches the rocks. This is where you can add some beautiful color to your wave. I'm darkening the foreground here because I want my eye to move up into the middle ground where all the action is. I like the sweep I'm getting here, bringing my eye right in where I want it. Everything is leading to the subject matter. This is great. I'm really happy with all this movement in the foreground. Now, I need to decide what I need to do to finish this painting. Let's work on the seagulls. Just a few little flicks of paint, and they take on much more form. You don't want to overdo this because you don't want them to look pasted on. Then we'll put back in some more sparkling, sparkling lights right around the seagulls. Smooth out your edges. A couple little seagulls in the background. And a few more crashing waves in the distance. Let's step back. I'm almost finished, but I want to bring that wave forward. It's still disappearing into the sky. So with a brush loaded with titanium white, cadmium yellow, just going to put a little light at the horizon, smooth it out, and I think that's it. So here's where we started today. An okay painting, but a little boring. And here we are with the finished piece. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please visit my website at barbaraapplegate.com. Thank you. <laughs>